Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School, your home for the highest level of football analysis available anywhere. I'm JT O'Sullivan. Today's first Wednesday install. We're looking at how to throw a nine stop. Dak Prescott right here going up against one of the best corners in the league, Josh Norman. Michael Gallup, great player out of Colorado State. We're going to look at the anticipation, hook up, what it takes to throw and catch this route in the, in the league. Welcome to the QB School. All right, pre-step here we can see. Middle field closed. Man, all over the place. Easy identifiers. Closed. Man. Man. Be able to come out right here. The route itself that we're going to be looking at right here is nine stop. He's going to come out, push it. 10 yards, try to run a go, basically hinge route it here, and the ball should be halfway, halfway out when he comes out of it right here. Timing of it wise, quarterback here does a nice job. Five, he kind of bounces in his footwork. Five, no hitch, let it go. Nice job right here. There's little nuanced things we'll talk about, but the timing, the anticipation is what beats the coverage here. So let's see here exactly how they do it. I'll pause it at the top so we see how early he gets it out. We know it's man. One, two, three, four, five. He's throwing it right there, and that is not open. Okay, in the NFL, this is open. This is timing, beating, great coverage. So right here, he's going to come up, flip it. The ball's already going to be halfway when he hits the top, and it's going to be a nice little completion against good coverage. Now we're going to talk, let's also talk a little bit about how maybe this route could be improved. Right there, great timing, throw and catch, throws a little slider of a of a throw, but a nice job. So again, right here. How to improve this route, in my opinion. I'm not a wide receiver's coach, but I would love to see this wide receiver with his hands up, first of all, so he doesn't have to bring him up when he starts to go. And then to really come out and instead of dancing, do whatever you have to do to get off the line and then really just basically run a go for eight yards, even more than that, as far as you can, to push this corner off. He looks, if you watch, now this is one of the best in the league, but he's never threatened. He's almost shuffling at the end. He knows he's not going to run a go. He can tell. So I'd really like to basically run a go for 10 yards and then throw down the landing gear and get out of it as fast as you can. So again, the timing, the anticipation quarterback wise here, it's really a nice job anticipation wise to also, this is a unique throw because it's in the middle of the field. Very rarely less and single digits in the league, I think is opportunities for you to throw the ball when the ball is not on the hash. So hash is right here. Ball's in the middle of the field coming out of a, uh, geez, touchback. So already it's a shorter throw than normal. Normally this throw would be over here on the far hash, on the far hash. So you, a little shorter throw, easier, really easy read though. Once you come out, you see it's man, you know your timing, your anticipation is going to beat the coverage. So see it again here, and then we'll look at the tight to look at the footwork a little bit. So again, you know it's man, one, two, three, four, five, let it go. Where's it out at the top? There it is at the top, halfway there. Nice, easy completion, even with the slider. So from the back, really pay attention to Dak's footwork here. He's going to take five, little play action fake. Now, I was never a huge fan of the play action fake, throwing number balls outside outside the numbers right here. One, two, three, four, five. A little bounce there at the top. That's what I'm talking about that I don't really love. So watch it right at the top. You're going to see he comes out and does a little like, I don't know, and he's so explosive. He comes out and does one, two, three, four, and then like hops into the, the fifth one. I'd really like to see him smooth this out, just Take one, two, three, four, five, and let it go. Don't bounce around. That bouncing around, in my opinion, is why the ball comes out sometimes and kind of dies on him, throws like a slider thing out here. So really want him to come out, simplify it, and just throw a nice little laser right at his face. So easy. We'll see if they, what it looks like. You tell me if you think it's uh, me being too detailed. But one, two, three, four, five, bounce. And then that little, when both of his feet are off the ground, that's really when you get in trouble. So anticipation is the key here. Nine stop Wednesday, install, get it out. So thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And for the most in-depth analysis, please be sure to go over and check out the Quarterback School community on Patreon. Thank you.